Hey, I'm Chase Barber and this is Edison Motors and welcome to our grant application video to build that shop up in Terrace. A little bit about Edison Motors. We're a bunch of loggers out of Merritt, BC. Two and a half years ago, we decided to build a better electric truck. This truck you see behind me, which we named Carl, is actually our first prototype we unveiled a year and a half ago. Proof of concept. It's built on a 1962 Kenworth frame built right in Vancouver, BC. We electrified this. Those are batteries under there. We proved that it worked. And then we raised a little bit of money so that we could build the next truck. And then what we came out with was Topsy, our newest truck, which is a full hybrid, North America's first hybrid truck ever made. So we've gone through the process of getting approval, getting our VIN number. We've got our VIN number. We're ready to go. We've got 10 customers lined up for next year's to put our electric drivetrain in their trucks or build their own trucks but we need a shop to build them in. Okay, so we've got sales. We've actually got over 1,300 paid reservations to buy our trucks. The problem is we're building them in this tent at my mom's house. Chase, dinner time, couple minutes. Don't forget the garbage in the morning, please. Garbage day tomorrow, thanks. That's not feasible for large term scaling. So we've been able to successfully raise some investment money off our sales. We've got enough money to buy the shop, but we need a little bit of help to get going. We're looking at the shop right there in Terrace, British Columbia. Fun fact about this shop, it was actually the old truck manufacturing plant for Hayes Truck. So it's where we used to make trucks in BC. We want to rebuild this shop, re-retrofit it, use that existing BC manu truck manufacturing plant that's been unused for 20 years and start building electric trucks in it because we love the story. So our plan to go to market with this strategy, we've onboarded some absolutely amazing talent that has experience in manufacturing and truck equipment manufacturing. They're going to help us take this shop, revitalize it, revamp it, recycle it into a modern truck producing facility that we can meet this large demand because the demand has outstripped our expectations. We're overwhelmed by how successful this is, how many people want this product. So we're gonna revitalize this, bring it up to modern standards of modern environmental standards, modern safety standards, and modern automation and production standards so we can start rolling these trucks out to meet the demand. How we reduce greenhouse gas emissions with this truck by going to a hybrid approach is that we take these axles, which are our axles, we actually have the IP for these. They've got electric motors. Then what we do is we take out the old diesel engine, we put in a small range extender, we put in a battery pack, and then this thing runs as full electric that's range extended. We're showing up to 50, 60% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by going range extended. And for an industry like logging, heavy vocational, where normal battery electric can't meet the demands of for a day, this is a great way to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in that. One of the other advantages of greenhouse gas emissions is that we do retrofits of existing trucks that were just diesel powered. So you don't have to throw out your old diesel truck. If you've got a good truck, we can swap the axles, put a battery pack in it, and make it hybrid powered or full electric. So rather than buying new, you can replace with what you got. You can keep these trucks out of the scrapyard. In addition to trucks, we also do a lot of solar. So our plan is to take this shop and cover the entire roof with solar panels because before we did electric trucks, in addition to logging, we also had a business that doing hybrid solar power. So of course we're gonna make our own shop solar. So we're just finishing up our investment raise right now where we're raising $12 million. We've got the customers in place and we are positioned to revolutionize the way the trucking works in the BC forestry and well, just general vocational industry, we can actually successfully bring truck manufacturing back to the province and you have no idea how excited I am about that. So anyways, if you've liked this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and make sure you fund us.